Hello and welcome back. I'm doing a quick book review today for Girlfriend in a Coma by Douglas Copeland. This book was published in the 1990s, I believe, uh, but the story itself is set in the 80s and the 90s. And it follows a group of youngsters in Vancouver in Canada. And as the name suggests, uh, one of the group, a girl, falls into a coma and she falls into a coma after she starts having these weird strange visions about the future. It's all very spooky and stuff. And then, without ruining too much of the story for you, it's another big revelation comes along when it's discovered that she's pregnant. She's in a coma and pregnant. I wonder whether that's happened in real life before. I imagine it has. It's a strange one. And she actually gives birth whilst in a coma. And um, the story then follows the rest of the group for about 17 years or so as they kind of go about their lives in Vancouver. And this girl is still in hospital in a coma. That's the basic premise of the story. Now, it got off to a good start with me, this one. I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the first third or so of the book. I, I found the characters to be quite well developed, quite, uh, quite detailed characters, very believable. But I'm kind of left feeling a bit unimpressed. After reading the whole lot and finishing it, I, it, it didn't really blow me away that much. Um, I think the second half of the book started to get a bit clunky. It started to develop a kind of amateur feel to it, which surprised me. And, the, and these well-rounded characters from the start, kind of, it, it felt like they went from being 3D to 2D. It's like, it kind of felt like he developed the characters in the first part of the book. And then thought, oh, I've done it now, and just, it, it, I don't know, they, it just became a bit unbelievable for me towards the end. And I had trouble visualising the scenes. Douglas Copeland has got a kind of um, transgressive writing style, by the way. So he, do, he doesn't really set the scenes that much. I, f I found that a bit jarring. And all of a sudden, at the end, there's a talking ghost. Just like that. I mean, I'm, I'm not into supernatural stuff at all. I'm not into ghost stories. I, I, I could have tolerated it if the story was good, of course, but um, it just wasn't quite good enough for that, for me. Towards the end, it, it kind of felt like some, some bloke had decided to write a debut novel about his friends growing up. That's how it came across to me at the end, and it's quite surprising, because uh, I usually like Douglas Copeland. But it, I mean, this is one of his early novels, actually. I, I think I don't know whether it's his debut novel, but it's one of his first. Maybe that explains it. But it, it had an amateur feel to me. Uh, some good points about the book. Um, if you're a fan of the Smiths, the band called the Smiths, you might like it. The, the title of the book is, is from a, a song by the Smiths. And there are one or two references to the Smiths as well in the book. So it's just one-liners, really. Not, not, it's not like a big part of the story. There's also a reference to the X-Files in the book, just briefly as well. But some people might appreciate that. Uh, and to be fair, there are, there are some good observations about life and existence in this book. I, I quite appreciated that. They're, they're kind of scattered throughout the book. Um, however, it, it does lack the quality of his other books, or at least the ones that I've read. That The first book of Copeland's that I read was Shampoo Planet. I just happened to find it in a charity shop a few years back and I was attracted by the front cover, and I really like that. that. That's a good book, Shampoo Planet. And then that led me on to um, Generation X and Generation A. I've read both of those. 
And then I read Worst Person Ever by Douglas Copeland, which is hilarious, by the way. I, I highly recommend that book, Worst Person Ever. But this one, Girlfriend in a Coma, it, it just doesn't quite compare, in my opinion. It, it didn't blow me away like the others did. So, um, that's, it's a negative review, actually, from me for this one. I, I don't recommend this book. If you, if you fancy checking out Douglas Copeland, check out Shampoo Planet or Worst Person Ever. I'm going to recommend those two books, all right? Thanks very much for watching. Remember, I've got a whole range of free books on Amazon and uh, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, stuff like that. You can check those out. I've left links below for those. I'll be back in about two weeks or so with another book review. And in the meantime, try to have a great day on this coma-inducing, spooky, surreal rock we call Earth. Goodbye.